The brand Sirius encompasses a range of cat lamps designed by Minart for mining and other industrial environments. Engineered at our head office here in Perth, Western Australia, the range includes our yellow Sirius and a green top-of-the-line Sirius Lux in a variety of corded, cordless and semi-corded models. We also have our limited edition pink Sirius Lux, for which Minarc will donate $20 from every sale to the National Breast Cancer Foundation of Australia. The Sirius was designed based on client requests and a big push from the industry for a more advanced, intelligent cap lamp. The development of Sirius reflects a new era of Minarc and the development of the company, from a refuge chamber manufacturer to a fully fledged end-to-end -end complete emergency response solutions provider. All Sirius technology has been developed in-house, allowing us to control every aspect of the product and ensuring that it lives up to our high quality standards. Consideration for the end user has been top of mind throughout the entire design process, ensuring that the product achieves both form and function. The range has been named after Sirius A, the brightest star in the night sky, also known as the dog star. It also has Greek origins, meaning sparkling, which is a reflection of the powerful beam that our own cap lamp projects. Monarch and Monarch Engineering have always been involved with cap lamps through the Hyperion range. We were involved in the design of it in terms of its waterproofing, the cable connections, the LEDs, lection and lens type of stuff as well. In terms of cap lamps in general, Monarch are quite already have invested in that design area. What we did want to do though is take a lot of that knowledge and, and start to build things at a high technical level here in, in Perth, West Australia. The type of things we wanted to try and work on were the, the usability of light, the wide versus the narrow beam that you see on the Sirius is something that we wanted to look at from an understanding of how people use the light in different lighting conditions through to what people are actually doing on the ground. The lamps themselves as well are getting quite technical, so there's a requirement for, for tracking and, and things of that nature in it, where they're making use of our microcontroller and, and radios and, and things of that nature. One of the significant differences between a Hyperion and a Sirius is that it's got two very distinct lights, two very distinct LEDs and lenses, and they do two different things. The wide beam is something that you're able to get into close quarters, be able to see more around you. The narrow beam is all about seeing as far as possible down a drive and spot so be able to highlight something on the wall. The differences between the two are very, very distinct I suppose and you can't really blend them together all that well so we wanted to be able to have the best of both worlds and by doing that is by literally having one of each of those two different types of two different types of lights so they can achieve those, those goals. The four buttons were another design feature that we added. It allowed the communication upstreams to be uh, distinguished from just one or two button combinations. So it's something that was very physically different. The four buttons are also a way to be able to scroll up and down through the, the, the modes of the cap lamp. The curly cord was another one. So even though it's quite simplistic in nature, it's something that you often see damage in, in other ranges of cap lamps. So the lamp getting caught as you're getting out of a vehicle or things of that nature, it doesn't, uh, it, it allows and give, gives you opportunity to know there's an error or know there's something happening around you, um, gives you a bit of flexibility before any sort of damage occurs. So though simple, it was something that we wanted to, to incorporate in this design. So we're always looking for ways to improve the product and out of the first iteration, we wanted to improve the narrow beam. By doing this, we increased the strength of the LED light and changed the lens to be able to concentrate that into a narrower beam to be able to get greater distance. So the decision to design this cap lamp here in Perth required some specialised skills. We hired an electronics and a plastic engineer, as well as a software engineer, and we required the investment in some high-tech equipment for manufacturing, such as a bridge circuit board machine. From design, testing and development work, the Sirius cap lamp required hundreds of hours of work. So some of the design challenges we faced developing the Sirius cap lamp were the heat dissipation uh, of the electronics inside the, the head unit, the power draw of the battery and making that removable, some of the electronics that are working with the microcontroller, the LED and the lens selection, the unit so that it was waterproof and, and vibration and shockproof, so it's quite a challenging unit. So this product gave us the engineering resources and knowledge to be able to develop our current products and expand into our future products as the company grows in the future.
Uh, the main developments we've seen over the years is uh, the increase in technology that's included within a lamp. So no longer is a lamp just used to provide illumination, it's used to provide tracking, monitoring, even communication with the miner that's wearing it. You think about the average miner, like space is at a premium. You've got a belt, you've got a self-rescuer, so to carry additional kit can get quite heavy and quite cumbersome. So the more you can jam different things into the one bit of kit, the easier that's going to be for the miner to wear. Yeah, we've seen a heap of um, change in industrial internet of things within underground mining particularly. This has led mainly because of the availability of networks underground now. They were once the exception, now they're very much the rules, so you've got Everything from LTE, more advanced rock mines, to Wi-Fi, to what we have with Guardian Connect, uh, you know, Ethernet of a coaxial solution. So having bandwidth or having data available underground um, just gives you more options to do things. Uh, early adoption is the hardest thing to do because you don't really have anyone in front of you to refer to. But if you can get it right, then you have to be prepared to fail because uh, early adoption uh, never hits at 100%. Uh, but what we've seen, those clients that have gone in and, and done something new for the first time, um, we'll go through some pain, but ultimately we'll come out ahead of the pack when it comes to anything from the network that they have sitting behind their mine through to you know the wearables or the, the kit or PPE that the individual miners are wearing. So Sirius Lux is critical to Guardian. It's the vessel that contains the chip that allows everyone to know where you are. And that's not just in uh, the worst of circumstances, you know, fingers crossed that never occurs that you need to seek safe refuge. But, um, you know, being able to know where people are within the mine, being able to optimise your shift, uh, being able to um, correlate location with gas monitoring, uh, being able to adjust things like vent uh, to that area based on the number of personnel that are in there, uh, being able to uh, clear the mine for firing more efficiently, um, you know, all of that information is, is vital and Sirius Lux provides that.